for our third and final Flagstaff National Park that we're visiting today. We want to welcome you to Sunset Crater Volcano National Monument. And while it would be a lot of fun and a pretty good challenge to hike up to the top of that volcano, it's prohibited due to the need to protect the landscape. As I said, we can't climb the volcano, but we can get pretty close. This is called the Lava Flow Trail. I am surrounded by lava rock. And boy, this stuff is really sharp. This is definitely one place you don't want to lose your footing. Wow. Would you check out this lava field? We're gonna now jump on our second trail. This one is called the A's Trail. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right or not, but it's another area where a lot of the molten lava was deposited. In this spot right here, the lava actually had nowhere else to go and it pooled together. And they say it accumulated to a depth of about 100 feet. Interesting to note that the place where I'm standing at one time in history was red hot and it stayed that way for uh, over 100 years. But uh, the rocks have obviously cooled by now, and it's neat to see that life uh, is beginning to emerge uh, after a place that was totally devastated by this volcano. So you can see here in my notes, the five trails that are at Sunset Crater. And uh, we started off with the Lava Flow Trail. Then we did the AA or AR Trail. And then we're gonna head over now and do the Lennox Crater Trail. We did not do the Lava Edge Trail, which is 3.4 miles. And we did not do the Benito Vista Trail, which is about a third of a mile. All right, so there's only about four to five trails in this park. And we have done two of them already. And we have saved the hardest one for the end. It's called the Lennox Crater Trail, labeled as strenuous. But it's four o'clock right now. We got about two hours of sunlight. They say it takes about an hour and a half to make a round trip on this one, but it should be a good one. Let's go. Now I see why they call this strenuous. We're gonna actually go up one of the older volcanoes, 300 feet elevation. Doesn't sound too bad if you just came back from doing the Grand Canyon though. Here we go, another big lava field. Man, the elevation out here gets the best of you. We gotta keep going, we're gonna run out of sunlight. It looks like it's starting to level off right now. And the view is incredible. Check this out. It's interesting that I'm surrounded by mountains right here. And according to the informational plaque uh, right in front of me, it says that each one of them was a volcano. And we estimate that there were about 600 volcanoes that have erupted over the years right here in this specific area. And we are now at the apex of the Lennox Crater. 
And right over here is actually the cone where the earth opened up and it spew out all of its materials. However, thousands of years have gone by of wind and rain and ice and gravity and it's filled that crater with loose cinder now. Not only are we starting to lose a little bit of our sunlight as it's dipping below that mountain off to my right, but the wind is picking up and it's starting to get kind of chilly. So we're heading back right now. Thankfully, it's all downhill from here. So that'll do it for this trail. That'll also do it for our time here at Sunset Crater. Hope you enjoyed the video. I showed you just about everything that you could do if you come to this park. I probably spent four hours doing it, moving pretty fast, but still I didn't feel rushed. If you haven't done so yet, your subscription to the channel would be appreciated. Hit that like button. Feel free to leave a comment below, share. And always remember, there's room for you on our next National Park Adventure. Have a great day.